check this out. This is the greatest fishing spot. I'm near the Coon Valley, which is kind of by La Crosse, Wisconsin, and the fishing here is great. In fact, it's almost as great as it was before the explorers came to Wisconsin. But believe it or not, about 65 years ago, this area had almost no trout, and this valley was quickly becoming an eroded mess. This is what this valley looked like in 1935. That's because when Europeans first settled into this area, they farmed the same way they had in the old country, planting their fields up and down hills like this and letting their cattle eat the grass off the hillsides. Problem is, there's more rain here, and over the years, lots of dirt washed off the hills and into the streams below, making them too shallow and too warm for trout. When soil erodes into streams over a wide area like that, scientists and land managers call it non-point pollution. Fortunately, some of the residents of this valley saw what was happening and they teamed up to stop the erosion. Beginning in 1935, conservation groups began helping area farmers reshape the land. Here are some of the things they did. First off, there's contouring or reshaping the hills to slow water runoff. Breaking up the hills with terraces or flat areas helped too. Then there's strip cropping. That's when farmers plant crops along the hillside instead of up and down. That helps catch some of the rainwater. Then, on hills where cattle had eaten all the grass, trees were planted to hold the soil in better. Today, this valley is coming back to life. Someone who's been helping make that happen is Dave Ficciano of the DNR. Hi, Eva. How's it going? Great. So, what kind of fish are here now? Uh, we have a lot of brown trout in these streams, and in fact, many of the streams actually have quite a few brook trout, which was a species that was here at the time of settlement. Cool. So, streams like these are really making a comeback? Oh, they look a lot better now than they did 35 or 40 years ago. I've got a crew that's just up the valley doing some electric fishing. If you want to go along, we'll see what kind of fish there are. Okay. Electro fishing doesn't harm fish. It just uses electric current to attract them, so a DNR crew can see how they're doing. As you can see, there's quite a few fish for just a sh short section of stream, and this is far different than what it looked like uh, in the past. According to Dave, there are as many as four to 6,000 trout per mile which is way more than anywhere else in Wisconsin. In fact, I think we might even have a, a small fish in the tub. Here's, this would be this year's brown trout, uh, or the one that hatched uh, probably about in April or so, so it's only a couple months old. Well, Eva, this is a white sucker. This was the fish that used to be, uh, we used to have quite a few of these. In fact, most of the fish that were in these streams uh, 35 or 40 years ago consisted of white suckers. Which would you rather catch, a sucker or a trout? <laughs> 12. Though these trout are doing pretty well on their own, the DNR still helps them out with things like habitat cover. What exactly is the habitat cover? Well, cover is, is something that these are wooden structures that are placed in a stream, but cover basically provides them a home. It's habitat, and it gives them a place to get out of the current and uh, to feed. Though there's still work to be done, the streams of Coon Valley are becoming healthy once again. That's good news for wildlife, anglers, and area businesses. Thanks to Dave and a lot of other people in this area, fishing's back. <laughs> oh, gotta go. Hope we'll see you out here sometime. Bye. Portions of the preceding program were co-produced by the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources and Discover Wisconsin Productions as part of the children's television series, Into the Outdoors.